Federal Member of Parliament for the seat of Mother Morang, the Honourable Mr. Roland Perks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Roland Perks. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you, Mr. President, for your welcome. It is a great privilege for me to be here today at um, um, here in this most delightful and scenic and attractive setting to celebrate this occasion with you. As I was being driven here today, I couldn't help but admire what a most appealing part of the world this is. I couldn't help but notice because we drove up and down the road several times before we found this place. But this must be a most friendly, fertile and productive area for growing oranges. As we drove past the orchards, I could see all the trees as, and I am aware of all the hard work that goes into growing trees like that. I know that the farmer must spend many hours certain time of the year, many hours, making the trees grow um, with a tractor uh, spreading manure and other associated tasks. I realise that in this technical college age, tractors are much more comfortable machines than what they used to be. What with their air conditioners, stereo sound systems and mobile telephones, but that doesn't reduce the amount of work that has to be done. And I'm sure at the end of the season it must be very satisfying to stand back and admire the fruits of your labour. On my arrival here today, a friendly group of farmers met my car at the front gate. They all waved to me, some with messages written on placards. Some threw me gifts of farm fresh eggs and ripe fruit. One of the placards, however, had a serious message on it, saying, Help! We are, in a sink. we are sinking in a depression. Unfortunately, we are living in a difficult and serious... We're, unfortunately, we are living in a difficult economic times. You don't need to tell me that. We are victims of a worldwide recession. Our agricultural and horticultural industries are amongst the most efficient in the world and having been on many overseas study tours, I can vouch for that. But unfortunately, we have to compete against three large countries in the world market who protect their agricultural producers with high subsidies. But I do believe we can compete against them. I do believe we can do something about countries dumping cheap juice on our shores. I do believe we can start climbing the J-curve. I believe the answer is to be found in this industry statement. We have to be smarter. Do, we don't have to necessarily work harder, but we do have to work smarter to become the clever country. So, I encourage you fruit growers to get out there and work smarter. I know you all work hard and long hours. Well, we all do. But when you are out there in the orchard, on the tractor, spend some time thinking. Thinking how you could work better and harder. Think how you could produce your crop more efficiently, more cost effectively. Think how you could market that crop better. How you could get the edge on your overseas competitors and earn some income dollars for yourself and for your country. Let's not be the lucky country, but the clever country. Think not what you can do for the country, but what your country can do for the country. For those of us who are consumers, we also can play our part by being smarter when we go to the supermarket. We should seek out the Australian made products on the shelves. You can find them if you look hard enough. Let's support our Australian industries. Buy Australian wheat, buy Australian wool, buy Australian tomato sauce and baked beans, buy Australian orange juice. We can beat this recession by buying Australian and eating our way out of our difficulties. Then we can all look forward to the bright, prosperous future that lies before us. I thank
thank you again for inviting me to be with you here today to take part in your celebrations. It now gives me a great deal of pleasure to declare the festival open. Thank you.